Hello, we're looking at week six, daily language review. Please have your red pen handy so that you can correct your answers and take notes. Number one, the aquarium has a new exhibit that features penguins. The aquarium has a new exhibit that features penguins. Your paper said new Lee, but we don't want the Lee. New. A new exhibit. Is the aquarium a person? Is the aquarium a who? No, the aquarium is a what? It's an it, so we say that. The aquarium has a new exhibit that features penguins. Number two, Divya, comma, my best friend, comma, and I went to the penguin display yesterday. So who is Divya? Divya is my best friend. So this is describing Divya. So we set it aside with commas, and that's called an appositive. Divya, my best friend, and I went to the penguin display yesterday. Period. Number three. The aquarium itself wasn't cold, but the penguin area was chilly. So this is called a reflexive pronoun. And it's used for emphasis. The aquarium itself, reflexive pronoun. The aquarium wasn't cold, but the penguin, penguin area of the aquarium was chilly. So the aquarium itself wasn't cold, but the area where the penguins are was chilly. We're drawing attention to that, so we use itself. What does the underlined phrase mean? We watched as the penguins swam like torpedoes through the water. And if you know what a torpedo is, a torpedo is very fast. If you don't know what a torpedo is, okay, torpedoes. So a submarine, submarine shoots out a torpedo and that's what happens. Poof, torpedoes. So torpedoes move very quickly. And so do penguins when they're swimming in the water. Day two. Ancient Egypt, comma, a rich and thriving civilization, comma, depended on farming. So again, no L-Y, no rich Lee, just rich. A rich and thriving civilization, lowercase c, okay, depended on farming. Number two, farmers raised many animals, comma, such as cattle, no s, comma, geese, one goose, two geese, four geese. One goose, two geese. Geese is the plural of goose. Oxen, we don't say oxes, we say oxen, and pigs. Cattle, geese, oxen, and pigs. Number three, write the missing words. The crops that grew in the Nile Valley fed and clothed Egypt's people. Fed is the past tense of feed. We do not say feeded. No, we say fed. Fed and clothed. Number four. They planted wheat, comma, flax, comma, and a variety of fruits and vegetables. Day three.
Public libraries are very important to the residents of most communities. Public libraries are very important to the residents of most communities. So again, we don't have an LY here. No, no. Residents. This is the residence we want. There's two residences. Residents are people who live somewhere. Residents is the place where people live. Residents, residents, they sound the same, but they're spelled differently and they mean something different. Number two. Libraries offer books, magazines, and use of technology such as e-readers. Libraries offer, they offer, no S. Books, comma, magazines, comma, and use of technology such as e-readers, period. Number three. Write the missing word or words. Library use is growing, even though many people find information online. Library use is growing, even though, even though. Number four, what does the underlined phrase mean? If you support your library, your library will support you. If you support your library, your library will help you when you need help. Maybe when you need a book or a magazine or a computer or an e-reader. Your library will help you when you need it. Day four. Curious and adventurous people started climbing mountains in the 1700s. Curious and adventurous. Look at the spelling. Curious and adventurous. People who like adventure. Mountains is lowercase, not uppercase, mountains in the 1700s period. Some of the first mountain climbers, some means more than one, of the first mountain climbers, some climbers were scientists who, scientists are people, Scientists who were doing research, period. Number three. In the 1800s, mountain climbing became more of a sport. In the 1800s, mountain climbing became more of a sport. Number four. Use context clues to figure out the meaning of the bold word. Attempting to climb tall peaks tested a climber's skill and metal. Here we see some pictures of mountain peaks. Peaks, so climbing all the way to the top of a mountain. Mountain peaks. Attempting to climb tall peaks tested a climber's skills and their courage, their strength of character, their determination. Their determination.